our meeting today. Um, and as you can tell by the agenda, today is our first meeting in which we'll be raising um, raising concepts and, and reserving bills for a public hearing. And so I'm, I'm sure many others will mention this today, but I wanna emphasize that, that the votes today are about encouraging conversation and uh, in particular about inviting the public to participate. Sorry. <laughs> Um, and not about supporting any particular policy. Um, so with that, I will ask my co-chair, Senator Fonferra, do you have any opening remarks to share? Just good uh, Good morning, Madam Chair. Good to see you and everyone and uh, looking forward to a short meeting today, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. <laughs> and on that note, passing the gavel to uh, uh, ranking uh, member, Senator Martin. Oh, I like... Uh... Senator from Pharaoh's style. So yes, uh, yes. <laughs> you have a Thank second you. for that motion. I have a second for that. So <laughs> that is it. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And uh, ranking member, uh, Representative Cheeseman. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Yes, uh, keep it short and sweet. And we'll reserve a lot of talking for public hearings and later committee meetings, I think. Thank you very much. Indeed, we will. Thank you, Representative. So moving to uh, Roman, numeral, Roman numeral three on our agenda. Uh, concepts to be raised. Um, so move, Mr. Madam Chair. Numbers one through 18. Do I hear a motion, Senator Fonferro? So move, Madam Chair. Uh, is there a second? Second, uh, Representative Butler. <laughs> okay, Representative Butler with the, with the call out. Um, is there any discussion? Representative Cheeseman. Yes, very briefly, and I just want to there some want to thank um, the chairs and for working well on this. There are a number of concepts uh, supported by all four caucuses, and I look forward to discussing these at length. I also note some members may have an issue with the number of uh, placeholder bills, but they provide a vehicle for important things we may need to do later. So thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Representative Cheeseman. If there's no further discussion, I would ask for a voice vote. Um, on the motion to raise these concepts. Aye. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Thank you. Uh, moving on to Roman numeral four on the agenda, proposed bills to be reserved for subject matter public hearing. Uh, let me first begin with items one through nine, and uh, Madam Administrator, should I name those bills? Yes, please, for the official record. Okay, we will do so. So items one through nine, that is item number one is proposed bill SB 55, an act establishing a personal income tax deduction for the cost of home health care. Two, proposed Senate bill 350, an act exempting certain agricultural vehicles from the highway use tax. Three, proposed Senate Bill 771, an act establishing a refundable child tax credit. Four, proposed Senate Bill 775, an act concerning the distribution of sales and use taxes imposed on meals sold by an eating establishment, caterer, or grocery store. Item five, proposed Senate Bill 814, an act concerning tax preparer liability for underpaid income tax. Item six, proposed House Bill 5014, an act concerning the cap on research and development tax credits. Item seven, proposed House Bill 5053, an act exempting all aircraft from the sales and use taxes. Item eight, proposed House Bill 5292, an act establishing a personal income tax deduction for long-term care insurance premium payments. And item nine, proposed House Bill 5306, an act reducing filing fees for small businesses. So moved, Madam Chair. Uh, second. Senator Fonfera uh, with the motion, Senator Martin with the second. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, I will ask for a voice vote on those nine items. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Thank you. Uh, moving right along. Um, I'm going to move now to item 12 under Roman numeral four, proposed House Bill 5424, 
And item 13, proposed House Bill 5467 uh, on a motion to reserve for subject matter public hearing. Do I have a motion? Yeah. Senator Martin? Second. Representative Cheeseman with the second. Any discussion? Seeing none, I will ask you for a voice vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 The motion carries. Okay, moving back. Also still under item uh, Roman numeral four. Um, item 10, proposed House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishment. Is there a motion to- so move, Madam Chair. At our hearing, Senator Fonfera. Second. Representative Doucette, uh, any discussion? Madam Chair. Senator Martin. Uh, very quickly, knowing that this is not a place for a conversation um, on this subject or or the other items, I uh, I do ask for a roll call vote though on this item. Thank you, Senator. We will have a roll call vote. Any other discussion? Uh, Madam Administrator, will you call the roll? Happily. This is a roll call vote for House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deductions of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. Von Farah. Von Farah votes yes. Thank you. Horn. Uh, Representative Horn votes yes. Thank you. Martin. No. Cheeseman. No. Thank you. Miller. Yes. One more time for me, please, Senator. Yes, Miller votes yes. Thank you. I'll really quickly take the opportunity to say for, vote, for folks who are voting on Zoom, please get as close as you can to your microphone so that your face appears in the screen and we can see you and your vote is properly cast. Senator Moore. <laughs> Representative Farrar? Farrar votes yes. Thank you. Barry? Barry votes yes. Thank you. Bronco? Bronco votes no. Thank you. Brown? Bumgardner? Bumgardner votes yes. Thank you. Butler? Representative Butler votes yes. Thank you. Cabrera? Carney. Carney votes yes. Thank you. Cohen. <clears throat> Concepcion. Concepcion votes yes. Thank you. Dancho. Dancho votes no. Thank you. Doucette. Yes. Thank you. Elliot. Fazio. Fazio votes no. Thank you. G. Representative G votes yes. Thank you. Hall. Harding. Wong. Cavros de Gras. Claritas Dietria. Thank you. Lamar, Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Yeah. Thank you. Luxembourg. Maroney. Meskers. Representative Meskers votes yes. Thank you. Morin Bello. Yes. Thank you. Mashinsky. Mashinsky votes no. Thank you. Napoli. Napoli votes yes. Thank you. Needleman. Paolillo. Paolillo votes yes. Thank you. Havelock D'Amato. Perillo. Piscopo? Piscopo, no. Thank you. Paletta? Paletta, no. Thank you. Ramen? 
Sanchez, Santiago, Santiago votes yes. Thank you. Staffstrom. Staffstrom votes yes. Thank you. Veach. Representative Veach votes no. Thank you. Wilson. Representative Wilson votes yes. Thank you. Wood. Yaccarino. Lamar's coming in. Zulo. Zupkis. Zupkis votes no. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Minister. I will note that we will hold votes open until noon today. Um, so we will move now to item 11, proposed House Bill 5422, an act concerning the creation of an interstate compact, the tax treatment of investment fund net profits attributable to certain investment management services. Is there a motion? So move, Madam Chair. Senator Fonfara, thank you. Is there a second? Um, Representative um, Farrar. Um, any discussion? Uh, Representative Carney. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chairwoman. I, I guess, I mean, I know this this bill is in its infancy stage right now, um, but do we have an idea what certain investment management services means? Uh, to your point, this is early days, and especially as this is about concerning the creation of an interstate compact, I imagine that a lot of these terms would be uh, subject to negotiation. Um, but this is essentially, and if uh, any of the proponents here in the room want to add on to this, uh, concerned with the carried interest loophole. Representative Elliott, did you want did you have a want to chime in? Sure, Madam Chair, thank you. And I'm parked on the side of the road. Uh, this is about closing the carriage loophole, as you said. The basic gist is that if you are a money manager, instead of paying uh, income tax, you are paying capital gains tax, even though it's money that you are managing uh, and not your actual money. Uh, that was be, that was being managed. So it's not capital to you, it's income to you. This is a federal level problem that we're trying to fix on the state level uh, and the way that we get around any issues of people simply jumping to another state is by forming uh, a compact with states that um, deal a lot with Wall Street. And so that's why we're trying to form this compact uh, through you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Chair. <laughs> Thank you, Representative Elliott. Uh, Representative Carney, does that answer your question? Uh, I apologize. I did get thrown off, but I, I kind of got the uh, uh, gist of what Representative Ellie was saying. Uh, I'm just wondering, does this potentially violate the Commerce Clause for you, Madam Speaker? Or Matt, sorry, thanks. I give you a promotion. Madam yeah. Chair. Well, I'm getting quite a promotion today. <laughs> um, uh, uh, it is, again, because in, in, in large part, this, this is just a concept. Certainly, the Interstate Commerce Clause would be an important part of the any interstate co um, uh, compact would have to address um, those concerns. But um, I think we're we're not there yet. Okay, I appreciate it. Is there uh, any objection to us holding a voice vote on this one? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor. Uh, to reserve proposed House Bill 5422 for a subject matter public hearing. Aye. 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 No. Opposed? No. No. Aye. The motion carries. Uh, okay, moving on, still under Roman numeral four. I believe we are now at item uh, 14, proposed House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. Is so moved, Madam Chair. Senator Fonfara, is there a second? Second. 
Second, uh, Representative Stapstrom. Any discussion? Oh, Representative Zupkis. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I just you know, I struggle with this. Um, I have a lot of constituents that have uh, reached out. I believe this came up in prior years. And, you know, we're discussing to give um, a tax to pot, but uh, now we want to tax something that is one of our rights from the Constitution. So um, I would ask that this be called by a roll call vote, please. Uh, thank you, Representative Zepkis. We will have a roll call vote. Any other discussion? Madam Chair. Yeah. Senator Martin. Yeah, very quickly. I represent uh, Bristol and, and a few rural towns, and I know that my constituents uh, are, you know, in the past have uh, voiced their opposition to this, uh, to this concept or proposed bill here. Uh, so I am going to be a no on this, and I'm glad that we're going to be having a roll call vote. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, any other discussion? Seeing none, Madam Minister, will you call the roll? This is a roll call vote on House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. Von Farah. Von Farah votes yes. One more time for me, please, Senator. Von Farah votes yes. Thank you. Horn. Representative Horn votes yes. Thank you. Martin. No. Thank you. Cheeseman. Yes. Thank you. Miller. Miller votes yes. Thank you. Moore. Farrar. Farrar votes yes. Thank you. Barry. Yes. Thank you. Bronco. No. Thank you. Brown. Bumgardner. Yes. Thank you. Butler. Representative Butler votes yes. Thank you. Cabrera. Carney. Uh, Carney votes no. Thank you. Cohen. Concepcion. Concepcion votes yes. Thank you. Dancho. Yes. Thank you. Doucette. Yes. Thank you. Elliot. Fazio. Fazio votes no. Thank you. G. Representative G votes yes. Thank you. Paul. Harding. Wong. Cavros de Gras. Yes. Thank you. Claire is Detria. Thank you. Lamar. Lamar votes yes. Thank you. Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Thank you. Luxembourg. Maroney. Meskers. Representative Meskers votes yes. Thank you. Morin Bello. Yes. Thank you. Mashinsky. Yes. Thank you. Napoli. Yes. Thank you. Needleman. Paolillo. Paolillo votes yes. Thank you. Pavlok D'Amato. Uh, can I just check, is this for the consent calendar? No, uh, this is on House Bill 565, I'm sorry, 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide oh. funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. It is item 14 under section four of the agenda. Have Octomato votes no. Thank you. Thank you. Perillo. Piscopo. Piscopo, no. Thank you. Paletta. Paletta, no. Thank you. Ramen. Sanchez. Santiago. Yes. Thank you. Staffstrom. Staffstrom, yes. Thank you. Veach. Representative Veach votes no. Thank you. 
Wilson. Wilson votes yes. Thank you. Wood. Yaccarino. Zulo. Zepkis. Zepkis votes no. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Administrator, Elliot votes yes. I have your vote cast in the affirmative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Chair, before you move on, if I could. Um, yes, please, Senator. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, I appreciate these uh, expressions of support or opposition and in individual bills, but there are many bills on here today, or at least there are some, that uh, this chair anyway uh, would not uh, generally uh, accede to their being on this agenda, but in the spirit of cooperation and believing strongly in the public hearing process and having everyone have their day in court, if you will, um, they, they, they appear here. And I have voted and will vote in support of everything on here today. Um, if we were to devolve into uh, deciding in this process what will be heard and what won't be, um, I can tell you that there will be a number of bills on this agenda that wouldn't be here today. Um, I don't think that's good for our process. I don't think that's good for um, the uh, ability to learn. And hopefully we as legislators do that along the way. We don't come in with fixed ideas on everything and positions on everything. That'd be pretty sad if we did. Um, so I would hope that members would keep that in mind as, uh, as the bills that are brought before us. Um, we all have opinions. And some of us um, uh, have opinions that could decide whether or not a bill gets heard or not, uh, even if we don't agree with it. And so um, I just urge that there be recognition of that uh, more comprehensively than than simply those that you support versus those you don't. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator. I, I concur. And uh, I would hope that a yes, our votes today are for curiosity and interest in what the public ha might have to say about these issues so that we could develop more information. So thank you. Um, moving to still under Roman numeral four, um, item 15, proposed House Bill 5673, an act concerning the reformation of certain taxes and equity. The motion is to reserve- So for moved, Madam Chair. Hearing. Thank you, Senator Fonfair. Is there a second? Uh, Representative Farrar. Um, any discussion? Is there an objection to a voice vote? No, no objection. Quick comment, and I just want to respond to uh, Representative Horn and Senator Fonfar's comments. I concur. We do want a frank and meaningful opportunity for the public to weigh in, um, and I do thank the chairs and the ranking member, Senator Martin, for working so collaboratively. But occasionally, I do feel it's important for members to be able to voice their feelings. We are going to have the public hearing process, and there will be ample opportunity for everyone to express their views. But I do want to thank both chairs for their collaboration as we move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Um, on the... Uh, uh, on the motion, uh, all in favor of um, reserving proposed House Bill 5673 for subject matter public hearing, say aye. 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 Opposed? No. The motion carries. <laughs> um, that concludes the votes today, I believe. Uh, item um, Roman numeral five, uh, the next, um, we will be holding a, an OP, a budget briefing with OPM on Friday, February 10th at 9 a.m. here in this room and on Zoom. And our next committee meeting is Tuesday, February 14th at 10 a.m., also in hearing room 2E and via Zoom. Any um, closing comments before we recess? No, with that, we will be in recess uh, until 12 noon today. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam all Chair. For I need to vote when you have a moment. 
in two seconds, I'll start taking votes. Hold on one moment, please, and thank you. Okay, for the folks who have joined via Zoom, we have two votes for you that I have to take. Um, hi, I, I'll be with you in one moment, please, Senator. Thank you. Um, so via Zoom, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to keep my microphone on because I'm taking the votes. Representative Cabro Stigra, how would you like to vote on House Bill 5413? I want to know what I, that is. I think I got the other one, just not the first one. So I'm a yes. Cabros to Gravos, yes. Okay, wonderful. You are Thanks. yes, you're all set. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You're welcome. You too. Okay, who else is on who has not voted? Representative, or yes, Rep. Lamar, I'll take you. 5413. How would you like to cast your vote? Yes. Yes. All right. And I believe I voted on the other one. And you did vote on the other one. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Representative Elliott, you're up next. I'm still driving, so I'll, when I stop, okay. I'll move back over. I will you. skip over you, sir. Representative Meskers, I have both of you. Luxem Representative Luxembourg, are you ready to vote? Thank you. All right, so no. Representative Zulo, are you available and ready to vote? You are. Hi, <laughs> sir. I apologize. Thank you. Can you just confirm the oh, item number we're on? Theory. How would you like to cast your vote on House Bill 5413? I apologize. That I had my agenda and then I lost it. Just give me one moment if you don't mind. No, it's okay. Um, that's an act authorizing the deductions of current business expenses by cannabis establishments. It's item 10 under section four of the agenda. Thank you very much. One second. Got it. Uh, Rep, this is to raise the concept, correct? This is to reserve the bill for a subject matter public hearing. I apologize. Uh, Rep Zulo votes yes. Okay, yes. All right, and the next one I need is on House Bill 5653. Give me one moment. This is an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. Uh, Rep Zulo votes no. Votes no? Yes. All right, I have you as a no. Uh, you are all set. We have both your votes. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Three. Good morning, Representative Yaccarino. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. I can't get my computer good. to work. And I'm usually up there, but I, I can't come up this morning. That's There's okay. just two votes. Two votes, correct. Two roll call votes. The first one is House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deductions of certain business expenses by cannabis, cannabis establishments. That's for a public hearing, correct? And this is to reserve the bill for a public hearing, correct? Yeah, I'm a yes on the first and no on the second. Yes on the first one. All right, so you're a yes for 5413 and you are a no for 5653. That's for the ammunition tax? Correct, correct. Yeah, that's a no. That's a no. All right, I have you down for both, sir. You're all set. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Have a great day. Bye. You too. Bye.
Hey, Madam Administrator. I think you're muted. I'm not hearing anything. I don't think it's me. Representative Elliott, can you hear me? I can hear you now, but I just got a green light. Give me another my... <laughs> Who's on first? I can hear you. All right, hold on. I got you in about five seconds. Are you ready for me? Okay, we're good. Oh, yay. That worked out well. Okay. Oh, we're freezing. Representative Elliott? Hold on one second again, Bray. Okay. Madam Clerk, you still taking votes? Representative, I am still taking votes, but I have all of yours. You're all set. So just, just if it, um, if I can indulge you, I want to apologize <laughs> for not being there in person to the chairs. I, I, it was a two hour trip to get up here today. There were multiple accidents. The traffic was horrible. So I just well. direct. I will pass along that message right now. Yeah, so everything that joined you, she's right next to me. Um, so that's okay. Uh, that's life. It's understandable. You voted. You did your duty as the Finance, Revenue, and Money Committee member, or as one. So I thank you for that. No problem. All right. Have a good one. And ask. All right, Madam Administrator, I'm ready to try one more time. Thank you. No more yes, for both and Representative Elliott, I am ready for you. For House Bill 5413. Again, Representative Elliott votes yes. Okay, um, Elliott is a yes. All right, and for House Bill 54, I'm sorry, excuse me, for House Bill 565. Again, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> break. Actually, you already voted yes on this. I you're thought I did. Okay. So yes. we good? <laughs> yes. All right. So you're all set. <laughs> Say that one more time. I said thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks. Good morning, Representative Perillo. How are you? Good morning, Bree. How are you? I'm doing all right, thank you. So we have two roll call votes for you today. Everything else was a voice vote and it passed. The two roll calls are under section four, item 10, House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deductions of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion was to reserve for a subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Yes. Yes, okay. Ba, 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 ba. All right, I have you down as a yes for that. And the next, uh, House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion was to reserve for a subject matter public hearing. Yes. Yes. All Roger right. And you are all set. Thank Thanks, Bree. Have Bye. a great day. You too. Take care. <laughs> You got me, right? <laughs> yes, a former.
Good morning, Representative Sanchez. How are you? Hi, is the meeting over? Hi, the meeting is in recess. Um, you, We did roll call votes. I'm sorry. We did voice votes for all but two bills. So we have two roll call votes for you. Okay. The first is House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion was to reserve this for a subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. And the next is bum, ba, da, ba, House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion was to reserve for a subject matter public hearing. How do you vote, sir? This is for ammunition? Correct. This is to create an excise tax on ammunition and then use that funding for community violence intervention programming. Okay. I'm probably a no on that one. No? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have you down. You're all set, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you. And Representative Pavlak D'Amato, I see that you are on. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. So I have... Your consent? I have yes. Already one. Um, I just need your vote on one other bill. Okay. This is section four, item 10, House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is to reserve, for it, reserve it for a subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Uh, I'll vote no. Okay. All right, and I have you as a no on the other bill, 5653. That was the ammunition, excise tax on ammunition. Correct. All right, you're all set. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Representative Brown, how are you doing today, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you. So we have uh, two roll call votes that I need from okay. you. The first, section four of the agenda, item 10. This is House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is to reserve the bill for a subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Yes. Yes. All right, wonderful. And the next bill. House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion is to reserve this bill for a subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Yes. All right. You are all set, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Thanks. Representative Luxembourg or Senator Moore, are either of you available for a vote? Okay.
Good morning, Senator Cohen. Hi, Bray. Sorry, I was just uh, quickly looking at the agenda because I know there were two votes, right? Correct. Um, two roll call votes. The first was on in section four of the agenda, item 10, House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion was to reserve this bill for a subject matter public hearing. Okay, um, I'll vote yes um, to bring it to hearing. Okay, thank you. And the next vote was um, section four of the agenda. Forgive me. Um, item 14, this is House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community, vi community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion was to reserve for subject matter public hearing. Uh, yes, I'll reserve it for, I'll do that. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Bray. Bye-bye. Bye.
Hi, Bree. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Hi, Senator. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm all right. Thanks. I'm all right. Um, so I have two roll call votes for you today. Okay. Two of them are under section four of the agenda, which is to reserve bills for subject matter public hearing. Okay. The first is item 10, House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. Again, motion is to reserve it for subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Neroni votes, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And then the next. Item 14 under section four of the agenda, House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion is to reserve it for a subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Senator Maroney votes yes. All right, we have you. You're all set, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You as well. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. And I did just see Senator Harding. Hello, sir. How are you? All right. Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Okay. So I have two two bills for you today. Um, yeah. Both are under item four of the agenda or section four of the agenda, I should say. The first is item 10. It's House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is. Um, yep. I'm a no. Okay. Got it. Thank Harding. You. No. You're welcome. And the next one is House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. I'm also a no on that as well. Senator Harding, no. All right. You're all set, sir. Great. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye.
Hi, Senator. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I have two bills um, in which I need to take your vote. They are both under section four of the agenda. The first one is item 10. It's House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is to reserve for subject matter public hearing. And I'm a yes on that. You're a yes. Okay. And they have you down, wonderful. The next bill, also section four, item 14. This is House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion was to reserve for subject matter public hearing. I'm a no on that one. Or a no. All right. Who, put all that bill in? Who, 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 who raised that bill? Um, that one is a proposed bill. Give me two yeah. seconds and I'll tell you who it's from. Uh, this one was introduced by representatives Gilcrest, Hall, Paris, Staffstrom, and Elliott. Okay. Yeah. I'm a no on that one. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. All right. You're all set. I appreciate your time, sir. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Good morning, Representative Luxembourg. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I can hear you. We're good. Okay, so we took roll call votes on two bills. Both of them are in section four of the agenda. The first one's item 10, House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is to reserve for subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Uh, Luxembourg votes yes. All right. You're in. Uh, the next, Section 4, Item 14, House Bill 5653, 
enact establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion is to reserve for subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Luxembourg votes yes. Wonderful. All right, you're all set, sir. Thanks Thank so much. You. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Anytime, you too. Hi, how are you? Hi, Senator Cabrera. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Thanks for uh, checking in. You're welcome. Anytime. So I have 203 today. Um, okay. They are both under Section 4 of the agenda. The first one is Item 10. This is House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deductions of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is to reserve for subject matter public hearing. Hi. Senator, Senator Cabrera votes yes. Thank you. I'll leave it here. Uh, the next one, Senator, thank you for voting in the affirmative. I have you cast as such. Uh, the next one is item 14 under section four, House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion is to reserve for subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Senator Cabrera votes yes. Thank you. You're all set, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. All right. Hi, Bree. Hi, Senator Moore. How are you? Good morning. Crazy. I was on for a while, but then I had to get off and I was trying to run three computers at once. Oh, I know. So, it's, it's a juggle. It's yeah. definitely a juggle. Uh, well, I'm glad that you're on now. And I just Thank have you. to make vote for two bills. Both of them are under Section 4 of the agenda. The first one is Item 10. It's House Bill 5413 an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is to reserve it for a subject matter public hearing. How do yeah. you vote? Yes, okay. All right, next up, section four, item 14, House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. The motion is yes, to reserve Yes. yes. I figured such, but thank you. I appreciate you enthusiastically casting your vote in the affirmative. I've marked you down. You're all set. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great Take day. Care. You thank too, dear.
Hi, Senator Wong. Hi, Bree. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Good to see you in person. Good to see you. So, um, um, the voice vote? Yeah, uh, no, these are two roll call votes. Yes. Most it was the voice vote, to your point. Um, two bills were, um, two votes were conducted by roll call. The first under section four of the agenda, item 10, House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. Um, I will be a no on that vote. No, okay. All right, have you as a no. And the next was section four, item 14, House Bill 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. Motion is to reserve for subject matter public hearing. Uh, I will be a yes on that. All right, that's it. That's all we have. Thanks, Bree. You're welcome. Have a great day. And when's the next meeting, the public hearing? Um, we have a budget briefing this Friday uh, at mm -hmm. 9 a.m. with OPM. It's both via Zoom and in hearing room 2E is in Edward. And then we have a committee meeting the following Tuesday, February 14th on Valentine's Day at 10 a.m. in hearing room 2, 2E or through Zoom. More bills to be raised? Yeah. Wow. More bills to be raised. Potentially more proposed bills to be reserved for subject matter public hearing as well. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We're you're you're running into competition with public health and GAE. <laughs> All right. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye.
Good morning, Representative Wood. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. So we have um, two roll call votes for you today. Both are under section four of the agenda. The first one is item 10. It's House Bill 5413, an act authorizing the deduction of certain business expenses by cannabis establishments. The motion is to reserve it for subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. I have the wrong, wrong tally sheet. 5413. And what is it? Yes. Okay. Next one is 5653. This is item 14 under section four of the agenda. It is House Bill, I'm sorry, 5653, an act establishing an excise tax on ammunition to provide funding for community gun violence and intervention program grants. Motion is to reserve for subject matter public hearing. How do you vote? No. Okay, you're all set. Great. Thank you so much, Representative. Thank you. Take care, Bree. You too.
It is now 12 noon. This concludes the February 6th Finance Revenue and Bonding Committee meeting.